how does this sound? So for uh, for recording purposes, I'm actually gonna record it locally and upload it to YouTube, and I'll put it as unlisted so that only you can see it. But if you want, uh, I can put it as public. Does uh, that sound good? If you think if you think it's a good session, then uh, you can put it public, I guess. All right. Cool. 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 All right. Let's start. I haven't uh, done screen sharing before, so we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. Tell me if uh, right. everything looks good. I see your cursor in black right now. Really? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Hmm. This is uh. This might be tough. How do I screen share? I feel. I feel like. Actually, hold up. Here we go. I know. I know what to do. Ha! <laughs> I don't know what to do. I just put it on a uh, borderless. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. All right. How is the frame rate uh, for you? How does it look? Uh, it's like 15 frames a sec, I guess. I mean, it's it's bearable. Is it watchable or is it like should we? Yeah, yeah I can I can see what happens. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's uh, let's fast forward to landing. So. Yeah, um... I started. To, I tried the longsword thing uh, today. Mm -hmm. I haven't played since four days um, because I was ill, and I can't really go to PC bunks like that. Oh, oh god! You're doing this bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, at home. Yeah. Okay, it's unfortunate. Okay. I don't think you did anything like wrong. It's just like, dude, they just like pull this shit. Okay, this is just this is just like solo queue, right? Uh, I would say if you really want to like prevent stuff like this, what I do is I ward this uh, area. I'm a oh, you're Varus? Oh wait, I'm actually boosted. Wait, okay, never mind. That was genius. Okay, this is good. This is good. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. We're good here. We're good here. That was really smart. I was gonna say uh, solo queue is bullshit in that way, but I mean, um, it looks like you use it to your advantage, so this is good. Um, good start, good start. All right, so uh, just last sitting. This is fine. This is fine. Honestly, um, let me go back to the wave. Right, ideally you'd want to like perma freeze it, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't an option. Let me see. It was not an option, right? So this is fine. Like just last sitting. This is fine. You think it's ever an option in the first wave? I think they kind of in the first wave it's more or less. Uh, the melee is dying at the same time, and then it's, you can't really do it anymore. Um, so so like, for the first wave, if you like got RNG in your favor and it was like freezing towards you, and you like killed someone, you should just like permanently freeze it if it's possible, yeah. right? But I feel like it's never really possible in the first wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd, yeah. you'd have to like get lucky and like a lot of other factors, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you're right, you're right. It's like usually not possible. Uh, let's see. You got W. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I still W because I thought um, we already have such a big lead, and uh, we're probably not gonna get a kill until I'm level three anyway, since I already have an XP advantage. Mhm. Mm and we're pushed in. I've always had skill of E in this matchup. If we were more even in lane, like uh, in terms of a wave as well. So, do you know what you're thinking here in terms of wave management, or are you just like trying uh, to farm? I'm trying I'm trying to um, shove it in so that it resets and we can be more around the middle because Leona's kind of useless at this point. So like here, right, it's pushing towards you and now you can like fight uh, if if you really want to. Yeah, so, yeah, that's why I'm stop pushing. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah. This is good. Uh, as long as you know that, as long as you know what you're doing, right? It's like a lot of times when um, I'm like watching replays of people, they like, they can't tell me what they want to do with the wave, so. You telling me that you want to push and let it bounce back towards you is good. Um, as long as you have like a clear idea of what you want to do, right? Because now Leona can just uh, engage if possible. Okay, uh, let's let's yeah. back this up a little bit. So this is like a yeah, laning thing. Yeah, something I do a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, this is though. good. You want this to happen, right? This this is yeah. fine. Going for that is fine. Here is like, um, yeah, you don't... don't die anyway. Yeah. I noticed that while I was doing it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like when you when you um what's what's the concept here so here it's like uh when you're when you're letting the wave push towards you right this is on purpose right you also must know yeah. that uh you can't fight unless it's like ideal uh circumstances because now they have more minions than you right this is just like um they had more minions minions than you. okay the minion balance was like unfortunate that was just like a gin thing but even if he wasn't playing gin um 
you couldn't fight that because he had like three extra minions on you, right? Um, yeah. So it's like it's like watch out when your minions are about to die. Watch out like when they start pushing towards you, pretty much. It's something I often do instinctively, even though I try to watch out for it. Um, I just sometimes go for range creeps, like like I just did, even though they potentially wouldn't even die, and I just get punished for it a lot. And that's I think that's one of the big issues in my early game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That I just lose a lot of HP due to. Um, Basically, them getting free poke off. Yeah, like trying to last hand, they like hit you. I know, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. That that happens to me a lot too. Uh, my best advice for that is uh, focus on like, uh, uh, like when you're going for the last hits, only go for the last hits if the if your minions are gonna kill them, right? Because that range yeah. creep when you went for it, uh, like if we go back a little bit, that range creep when you went for it, it was um. Have died, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even have died. So you can. Whoa, what's going on with the replay? Okay. Give me a second. It's like freaking out. All right, whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, right? It wouldn't have even died. So okay, we're gonna fast forward back to where we were. Um, just to remember where we we're at, right? Yeah. Even if it would have died, it was not worth. But anyways, I think you know that. Um, yeah. Okay, this is good. This is good. You still, yeah, you still want to use? So. Actually, okay. So. This is also a problem I have too, but um, when you're like low, on, when you get like poked down because of stuff like that, it's like now it's like your game plan has changed because now you can't you can't fight. Before you were like strong enough for Leona to be able to like engage in when the wave's pushing towards you, right? Even though they have like yeah. one or two extra range creeps on you, it's like fine to fight. But now it's like no longer the case. So this is good that you're playing like defensive. You want to like only last hit here until you have HP back or you have Gragas. Um, Oh, okay, yeah. okay. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, see, that was what I was talking about. Um, if you had, like, 100 extra HP. But let's go back. I think it was good up until... Um, up until you died somehow. I underestimated this damage. Yeah, they changed CC'd me. And uh, then Jin busted me. I see. I didn't expect him to deal, like, 300 damage. So this, this is, like... Um, the concept here is that... Uh, when your team... Is like guaranteed to like have something, right? It's okay for you to just like run, like back off, right? This is all. This honestly, this is all completely fine. Even getting hit by that snare is fine. Um, but this also, this is also fine. But here, you just run, you just back off, right? Um, if Jin flashes on you, you can heal and you you'll barely live. But this Zyra dies no matter what you do. So there's no need for you to uh like continue like staying in danger if that makes any sense, right? Yeah. This this is like. This mistake I would like categorize as like not 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 running away when 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 you have like the kill secured or whatever it's it's fine to just like let your team finish it even if they like mess up or whatever the, it was like the right move was to like to leave you know so uh, there it's like it's like if your team has it it's just like stay safe you know what I mean so yeah, yeah. it it would have been a good gank otherwise I asked them to freeze left but uh, they didn't yeah that's that's not your fault they're just like whatever it happens. Uh, this is all, this is all fine. You gotta wait for Leona. Yeah. This is fine, this is fine. I would say, honestly, I would say so far not too bad. Considering they have Zyra, it's like super annoying. But, definitely can work on some mistakes. I missed that Nazar I wasn't banned. Uh, was banned. Oh god. I hate playing Nazar. Dude, Nazar is actually like AIDS. The thing is, in this elo, um, and because for some reason people on the server have worse decision making, but better mechanics, no one thinks of uh, attacking the Voidlings to like help help them get off of you. So you have to run all the way to turret. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. That's that's pretty funny. Okay, this should like this is pretty free. You did this. You did everything. This is all fine. This is all fine. That's pretty good. You could say like maybe you get extra there. I think what you did is fine, honestly. I was gonna say like, nah, never mind. That was good. That was good. This is all good. This is all good. Here you probably want to push out and back, right? Okay, he's gonna be yeah. dealing with his cannon wave for a while. He can't freeze it. This is all good. Oh, okay. Actually. Yeah, I think I stayed because I saw I saw the next wave coming and I thought that he would he would stay from the wave as well. So I thought um. That uh, it would be beneficial for me to push out one more, so 
he's faster back, definitely. Since he's gonna, since I thought, if I stay for that wave, I'm gonna get uh, a wave uh, advantage, basically. So I, I see where you're coming from, right? If you, if yeah. he backs first and then you get to push that wave in, then he loses a wave, right? But yeah, yeah. Uh, the problem with this is that um, they're not gonna let this Zyra is not gonna let you do that, right? Um, like, yeah. uh, you've already you've already basically done that by pushing the cannon wave into his tower. Like, if you back now and um, he tries to push this, he tries to push. Okay, so he he's clearing like this huge cannon wave, right? Um, like we back it up a little. If you if you manage to pull off this back. Um, he'll be killing this. He's gonna try and push the next wave, but you'll be back in yeah. time. And you can just permanently freeze it, right? That's like one option. The other option you were looking at was um, he clears all this, and then uh, he wants to back, and then you push immediately, right? And you lose six minions. Yeah. But the problem with that is that um, first, like uh, under under like normal circumstances or whatever, like this this jungler can just back and come out and like gank you when you're trying to do that, along with his support. This supports full health. Basically, their support's gonna 1v1 you before your Luna is gonna be able to come back, right? So, um, it's like, uh, uh, like, you, for, for, I, I, I see, I see, I like what, that you have a plan in mind, but, um, you have to, like, think, you have to think worst case scenario, right? Worst, can it, worst case scenario here, there's, like, no real downsides to backing now, right? But if you, if you delay the back, um, he he can potentially like stall you out, right? You can't. There's no way you. There's no way you can push a wave when Zyra's just trying to like hit you, pretty much. Say Jin backs, you can't fight the Zyra, right? In this yeah. position, it's it's impossible to one v one her. Um, it's it's impossible to do it like ten times out of ten times, which is what you're going for here. So, uh, honestly, you should just you should just back on those cannon waves, right? So, so so my for me, what I do is um. If I can push in the cannon wave, I just back immediately, right? Or uh, if I have to back first, I back on a cannon wave, right? Um, those are like your two best case scenarios. So I would say I would say pushing this cannon wave in and then backing that was the best case scenario. You should aim for those. Um, yeah. But I like I like I like I like the thinking though, right? Cause um, yeah, 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 I like the thinking. But I would, I would say it's not the it's not like the optimal it's not the optimal back time, because you could have uh, you could have came back you could have came back with Leona because now like the correct move is to permanently freeze this right he has six extra minions you can permanently freeze this you can have like you can have Leona roam Gragas can like take control of like these areas but you haven't bought yet the difference yeah. between uh, this and like the backing on the cannon wave before was you haven't bought yet and that could be important for like a fight. Yeah, so I'm just annoying them. And trying to push out. Oh my lord. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll guess that. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, uh, <laughs> it wasn't responding to my keyboard commands. That was really funny. I forgot about that one. Okay. This is just yeah, some, I this is a random gank. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I didn't, I think I'm back, I think, as well. I didn't really like that one. I see, it looks fine. Uh, you had the, you had the correct response, is fine. This is all good. Okay, yeah. I would say it's not really your fault here. It's just that back time. Okay, here, here. Yeah, is, I just you just run. You just run. Yeah, like I, if, thought, I thought we could kill them, maybe. He is totally. Yeah. Okay, let's back it up a little. So, the fact that you live here, that's good. Okay. Now, um, looking at this, it is like way too dangerous to hope. You know what I mean? Uh, Cause you have no summoners, you you just use like you have no cooldowns, right? You just use everything, right? So here, when I see this wind wall, I'm just like, all right, I'm just gonna like let my teammate die. If my teammates do something stupid, let them die. But I'm pretty sure we just all walk away from this, cause we already killed the Jin. Um, if we back now, we can go back and like reset for dragon, right? So yeah, it's it's from the two the two ways you died so far. It's not like it's not like awful, but um, you can definitely. Uh, like prevent them, right? It's like playing to live. You should always play to live as the AD carry, right? When you're trying to kill that Zyra, it was like the only difference between your team killing the Zyra and you killing the Zyra is that uh, you got the kill. You you could like get the kill, but you put yourself in danger, right? Here, there's like nothing to be gained. You just need to run away. Um, there's nothing to be gained. You just run away, right? Yeah. So I think you know that. That's not too bad. And despite despite that, you're still like winning this lane. I would say. 
Yeah, this is, I, I think this is my third game or so with, uh, with that build. Uh, before that I went the, um, like the standard AD build on Varus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, I, uh, I really just like this, this fight, because she missed ult. I didn't want to come in, but then she all in anyway, so I just followed. Alright, let's, uh, let's back it up. Okay, so... Yeah, she totally fucked up there, but... Okay, yeah. when you see this, um, you don't have ult, right? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, this I goes think... back... Oh, no, it's 30 seconds. Yeah, this goes back to, like, the, uh, play to live thing, right? If you go for this guy, um, let's, like, don't even include this Kha'Zix. This Kha'Zix makes it, like, impossible to win, but even if Kha'Zix isn't here, this is not a uh, fight you can win. Let Leona can tank a bunch, but, like, let her kill herself. If, if you're, if... If your if your teammates like this Leona like kills himself, it's your job to not die with them, right? Here, the only thing you can do is like you actually can't do anything. You don't have Q, you don't have E. You just like stand around and like you you like it's advanced. It's like um pretty much your priority is to stay alive, right? You can say oh um maybe I can help if I like dodge Zyra E and her ult, but like if she ults between you and Leona, you still can't help anyways, right? There's nothing to be gained here. Um, if you want to talk about like the micro part of it, you should like predict what your uh, uh, opponents are gonna do, right? If you were this Zyra and this Leona eat on you, what's the first thing you're gonna do? You're gonna throw a snare onto the AD carry, right? So yeah. you can talk, you can like think about it micro that way, but um, it's better to to have like a general generalization, which is like stay play to live, play to live always, um, especially when your teammates do something stupid. That's how like people get baited in solo queue, right? Yeah, I feel like those are the majority of my deaths in the early game. Yeah, yeah. If you think if you think it's a bad play, don't follow. In solo queue. Yeah. In solo queue. I, in my in my opinion, if you think it's a bad play, you always you always do not like go against what you think. Because if you go against what you think, um, you'll like never learn that way. You have to like be wrong and then you're like, Oh, okay, I was wrong. So next time I'll do this. But if you follow them and it works, you just like don't know why it works. Or if you follow them and it doesn't work, you're like shit, I shouldn't have done it anyways. So I, I would say, like, in solo queue, play to live and, like, uh, always always play the way you think, in my opinion. If you think they're doing something, like, retarded, like that Leona, don't, just, like, trust your instinct. This is fine. Pushing out is fine. This is good. Um, pretty standard. You have good CS, though. Compared, uh, compared to Jin, I would say. Uh, here, this could go well. Honestly, all you have to do is just, like, not miss on an AD carry. You're just like ult him first, yeah. right? Okay. Leona's not very. Yeah, that's special. that's like that's like that's not you. Oh god. This is fine. That's fine. Honestly, that's all fine. What you do is you could ult first. Honestly, whoever ults first, you guys can either one of you can ult first. But what you do, you play that right, in my opinion. No mistakes here. This is good. Poking them out. Okay, that was really. This is really good. This is really good. That was really good. That's free. Okay, this fight is probably not gonna go well. Yeah, I back off as well. It was really close. Yeah, I didn't. I, uh, I thought he'd have Q up very soon, so I didn't wanna go even though he used a full shot. Mm -hmm. This this is a good flash. It, yeah, this is super close. There's no way for you to win unless you have Q, and then you use it anyways. Okay, yeah, this that's fine. Honestly, that's fine. I would say that's not a there's not a mistake made. You guys just traded heals, and you can poke them out. So this is good. So far, good, good, good. Honestly, it just looks like your problems so far have been, uh, oh, that's awkward. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I remember what happened there. Um, basically, I said I said in chat, I need to shove this wave. Uh, Leona, can you stay with me? And I think I pinged her once or twice, and she kept going mid, so I just shoved anyway uh, in hope that they wouldn't come, but I, I knew it was really risky. Yeah, that's like a... a... Even if Leona was there, I would say it's still pretty risky, to be honest. Alright, let's back it up. What just happened here? You just push this wave in. Leona is here, clears the ward. Yeah, this is like uh even if it was Kazix by himself, he probably could have probably could have killed you. He has flash, right? He has no ult though. Hmm. It's still honestly, it looks not too bad. But when you see this. You should just like yeah. run away, right? This is like this is this is also like greedy for minions. You, remember, your goal, your goal as the AD carry this season isn't to like do damage or like CC people. It's to stay alive and not miss your abilities. That's like that's how stupid AD carry is. Like this season and last season, 
if you stay alive and the enemy AD carry like fucks up, you just automatically win a team fight. So like, yeah. when you see that Zara coming up, you just play to live, play to live, 100%, play to live. Um, that's just like greedy for minions, honestly. Fast forward to here. This is good. Going mid. Siege mid is uh, honestly all the AD carries just go mid after like 13 minutes. This is fine. You don't go bot. Bot's not safe. This is fine. Honestly, you just like spam Q, right? All you have to do is just press Q until they have no health. That's basically what I try here. This is good. That was really good. Nice hit. Okay, here. You don't actually want to uh, hit this tower. It's not safe for you to hit this tower. You let like Leona and Oriana like bait out your abilities, bait out their abilities, right? But uh, it seems it seems like it'll go well. Like when I see this, like it's dang like for AD carry, it's like dangerous to siege towers, um, like in solo queue. For whatever yeah. reason, for whatever reason, it just like goes poorly. But it's, it seems like it's going well here. Cause like they can flank and like do whatever shit. Like your team is not ready. Um, just like a uh, like a side note, be careful when sieging towers. Oh, actually, this could go pretty badly. Okay, never mind. You're good. Are you good here? It's all good here. Uh, missing all. That's just like um, don't miss all, right? Yeah. Do you have a smart casted or? Yeah, I do. I have everything smart casted. Okay. Well. It's a preference thing, but I I usually don't smart cast important uh, stuff. Okay, that was a nice shot. Yeah, this is this is this is just what you do. You just sit mid, you just press Q. You as long as you stay alive. Okay, hold on. Let's just watch this real quick. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so as long as you stay alive, um, and you don't miss, you just like automatically win every single game. That's like how stupid various build is right now. So yeah, you're remember remember above everything else, your number one goal is to stay alive. Okay, go back mid. This is fine. This is fine macro. You just, you just push mid. Okay, hold on. Let's back up. Yeah, There's unfortunate. So, uh, so one piece of advice I could give to you for landing uh, skill shots like that is hold on to them as long as possible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like if he he can juke himself to death right stuff like that but um, um is dragon up right now I can't see from from the map it's uh it is not up okay, right now because then I think I thought that um Baron's not gonna be up for a while and uh, dragon's not up for a while so I can uh, so I can try to get a, just get a catch with ult since I probably won't need it yeah that's that's okay. honestly that's fine um going for those yeah. is fine it's just like uh try not to miss right <laughs> yeah. The idea, the thought, the idea was nice. The idea was nice. Like you would have done like a shit ton of health if not kill him, so shit ton of damage if not kill him. Idea was good. Execution maybe not so much, but that's like a micro thing. This remember, remember I said about sieging towers is dangerous. Um, yeah. This is fine. This is good. You back off, right? Remember, number one priority: stay alive. So this is good. This is good. This is good. As long as you're not dying, honestly, you do. You're probably doing something right. Okay, you're gonna help Maokai. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, here, you probably just, when you miss that Q, there's nothing else for you to do. So I would just like leave. Like I see you're trying to like all flash. I think it's kind of risky though. Um, I, I was thinking about it, but uh, I didn't want to. Because yeah. Leona didn't have ult. Right, yeah, 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 exactly. If, yeah, uh, seems a little risky without proper follow up. Okay, this is this looks fine. This is just, uh, wow, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, they're just, they're just dying now. Okay, okay. This is good, this is good. So far, so good. Okay, hold on. What, what, what happened here? Yeah, we almost say That was my call as well. Probably could get to the tower. When I see this Janot, I'm just gonna run. Um, yeah, yeah. And then we do. Okay, so, eh, that's a minor point. I would say... You turned around for an auto attack, but that is that is honestly a minor point. Uh, yeah, don't don't even turn around. Don't even don't even don't even turn around to auto attack. I just I just hightail it out. This is fine. You got it. You get away though. This is good. Honestly, you lived, so I'll say that's fine. <laughs> but uh, that's a problem I have too. I like when you are like kiting, when you're like running away. Um, you want to like 
actually run away like not even turn around like when a situation is that bad a lot of players will like turn around to get like an auto attack in that's that's like uh that like puts you at risk more you know what i'm saying yeah and it doesn't actually get you anything yeah exactly because you can't kill him anyways okay this is good good call you kill that guy top i don't know what happened but it seemed good <coughs> honestly outside of lane seems pretty good okay if you live here, okay, that's awkward. Okay, let's back up. I could have flashed that. That's true. Okay, this, it is true that you could have like flashed it with like if you if you knew it was coming or reaction time or whatever. But honestly, um, you should just like in order for you to not rely. Okay, so in League of Legends, it's always better to rely on um, like. Thinking based plays than like a bit than uh like mechanical based plays. You know what I mean? Yeah, like if you can right. if you can like win by just positioning instead of like having to land every single skill shot, you should always uh, go for like winning by positioning. So like here, you can just like wait for your team. There's no need. There's no need to uh like try and fight this guy over minions, uh, cause like your team is just not ready. So I would just sit at tower. Honestly, I would just sit at tower and queue the wave. Like you don't even want to queue the wave. You just want to like let the wave build up so that when your team's here, you can just all push at the same time. This is just like uh, uh, uh. Were you like killing minions? I'm not even sure. Just uh, I don't know. You should just like stay safe. Stay safe. Number one, number one thing you should do: stay safe. Yeah, it sucks especially because we're down. Yeah, yeah, because like now, now Baron gets stalled, um, for like until you come back. Your team makes mistakes. There's nothing you can do if your team like kills themselves four v five. You always want to stay alive, right? Especially in solo queue and especially for AD carry. Um, if you die in solo queue, you have no idea what your team is gonna do. You have no control over that. And as AD carry, it's just like everyone wants to kill your ass. So if you stay alive, probably gonna win the game. Yeah, this is fine. Honestly, you just wait for your team here. Don't even cross this like mid lane point. You just wait for your team. Let your team go first, always. As AD carry. Here, this is like the same thing. He can just You just need to wait for your Gragas and Leona. He can just like come out to you. Okay, it's, seems good, seems good. Yeah, I love this time. <laughs> yeah. That's good, that's good. Don't repeat the same mistakes if you can help it. Okay, so I think I have a overall general idea of what you should work on next, but we're gonna we're gonna finish this game out. Seems good. That was a good ult, but uh, okay, let's just let's just play out this team fight. All right, let's back it up. Okay, so um, in terms of team fighting, let's go over let's go over what's going on here. You guys just want to poke them out and then like hit the tower, right? That's like your goal. So when you see that and he misses, um, you just like you just back off. This is what you do. This is good. That's a good cue. When you see this, Fiora, you can't you can't like you have to assume worst case scenario. You can't use your all like that in case she parries, right? Um, you should you should hold on to it. In my opinion, you should hold on to it. You get like you like get away with it, but uh, can't you actually chain QE? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She can, she can, she can do that. Have you seen um, Fiora's play against Kaylin? They like Q onto the trap and parry immediately. It's like super. It's like super cancerous. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, you always want to be careful of that. Like if they have a dash ability or if they have um, like like a parry or like bear, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, honestly, there's nothing you can do this fight. You play this correctly for the most part. That's fine. Okay, this could be awkward. Okay, this is very awkward. All right, so. Oh, it's not even the wall. Wall. Wait, there's no top side jungle. Most of on both sides. Mm -hmm. I was standing towards bot. Uh, so what I would say for this fight is that uh, uh, it's like, hmm, how do I say this? So your number one job is to stay alive, right? Including like any kind of siege scenarios or whatever, um, you can let your it's it's honestly better for your Oriana to hit this tower. I know I know people talk about how um, 
it carries jobs to like kill towers and stuff, right? Uh, yeah. But like the the huge pitfall of that in solo queue is that every AD carry thinks that they should be hitting the tower, and this is not true at all. Um, even if this was a five v five, wait, people die, right? This is a four v five, first of all. Um, but even if this is a five v five, you just let let your team let your team hit this. Your job is to stay alive, because if they go for your teammates, they go for whoever's hitting the tower, pretty much. That's like what people naturally do, right? He's going for people who are hitting the tower. <laughs> He's going, this Yasuo is going to go for people who are in the back line hitting the tower. You should just like yeah. stand back here and just cue the shit out of everyone, right? Zara is going to go for people trying to hit the tower. Um, this is just like a, uh, uh, a stay, it's honestly like a stay alive kind of thing. I know I sound like a, a repeating record, but honestly, it's, that's like your only job. Your only job is just stay, what, whatever happens, stay alive. Because um, now you have no outcome over this fight. But honestly, like, for the most part, your mid-game was pretty clean, I have to say. Yeah, that's usually what happens, especially in this region, because uh, people really have awful macro. It's kind so, of, um, yeah. having good macro just stands out a lot more. It's kind of funny, it's like kind of watching me play. <laughs> make a lot of mistakes in lane, mid-game is pretty clean, and then make mistakes at tower. That's honestly what I've been working on myself. This is fine, honestly, he's sitting top trying to get his tower. Okay, tanking this is also fine. Yeah, so if I were you, I would just sit in the back and spam Q. Not even be anywhere. It literally make it so that's literally impossible to kill me. No matter what they do. So I wouldn't be hitting this tower. I would just like Q. Yeah, this is good. This is exactly what I do. Just Q. Q people. Done. Not even. I wouldn't be even hitting this thing. Okay, your team fights. This is very interesting. Okay, this is good. You're hitting the tower. It's honestly, no matter what you do, you win this fight, so... Seems good, seems good, seems good. Okay, you actually die here. Interesting, what happened? Yeah, I think I flashed forward to, get to secure my kill, which I shouldn't have. When I see this, I'm just like, trying to queue. Uh... Yeah. So you're just like, tanking tower. Honestly, it didn't really matter, but the way you should play this is... You don't even need to. You don't even need to auto attack to win these fights. This is like a minor thing. This is like a minor in the grand scheme of things. I don't think you should be working on this next. But um, uh, when you're playing a backline uh, carry, your flash is like more important than other people's flashes. Um, yeah. So this, if he lives, whether he lives or dies, the outcome is the same, right? Um, the enemy team loses this team fight, so you shouldn't you shouldn't flash for this, right? Uh, even even if he dies, if he lives, he just he's, all he's gonna do is just back and come back, um, and then he still loses because he has like dead teammates. So if it's not gonna change the outcome of the team fight, don't use your flash. But honestly, I'll say it's like not that bad. That's not something you should focus on. It's just like if you have time after fixing all the other things, you can like come back and work on the micro, I guess. So yeah, this is this is probably over. Oh wow, it's not over. Okay. Clearing clearing this. Oh wow. Team fight going on. So when I see this, I'm like, yo, my team, there's no way we win this. I'm just gonna leave. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, let 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 that guy die. You have ult? You don't have ult. So here, you just like sit at tower and wait for your team, honestly. Wow. I, so, I guess that guy just died. Alright. This is good. This is fine. Uh, okay, I don't know about like coming out here. Yeah. Okay, let's back it up a little. So, uh... Here you just like you should like want to wait for your, you should like want to wait for the minions at the very least. It's gonna be a three v four and your Leona has no health. Honestly, you just like wait at the tower. You just like wait back here, right? Because if you like wait in front of their tower, they like they know where you are and they're just like gonna bum rush you with numbers, right? There's no there's no like real reason to uh, be like out here so far because you can't hit this tower without minions. Um, you have like a man disadvantage. I just thought it would be okay to uh, 
go a bit forward to po start poking them since uh, they don't really have a good engage onto us except for generals, I guess. It'd be good, but you can't you like can't see them when they're in their tower. The only way you can actually hit them with your poke is if they like purposely show. Um, yeah. So I would deem it to be like the the risk versus the reward. Like if you guys die there, it could have been like a Baron throw. Um, versus like getting maybe getting some poke off. I would say it's like it's too risky, too risky of a thing. You just like remember, uh, just like you just like you just like play to stay alive. Oh, it says eighty carry. Seems fine. Seems fine. This is also seems fine. Starting Baron is like whatever. Sure. Okay, Q. This is good. Okay. Yeah, how much is? Okay, I would say, yeah, I would say, be careful about chasing. Yeah. It just goes. Okay, okay. I yeah, I have a good idea of what uh, what's going on. That's just like. You're just chasing someone. Okay, okay, okay. All right, this is what I think. All right, so um, the main things you should focus on for like getting better, improving, and like your next ten games or whatever should be uh, landing phase first and uh, playing to live. Those are like the two main things you should be focused on. If we go back, um, if we go back to some of these times, right? The first time you died was. Uh, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. First time you died, it's just like, uh, you just need to, you just need to not, not go for, okay, what's a good way to put this? It's like, your job isn't to, uh, kill people or do damage, it's to stay alive, right? If we apply that theme towards, like, all your deaths, um, like, sometimes you would, like, flash forward for the kill, which, it did work, but, um, it was like, put you at unnecessary risk. We're, I think the goal here is to minimize unnecessary risk, right? So I think your mid yeah. game was fine. We don't need to like worry about that until like maybe later. But for early game, you just want to make sure that no matter what happens, um, you stay alive, right? No matter what happens, you stay alive. I think your ma wave management was good. You like had a clear idea what you wanted to do, and you executed it well. Um, but for backs, you should focus on like focus on worst case scenario. If you do this, what's the worst thing that could happen, right? At that cannon wave that you pushed in and you wanted to stay and push another, you like, what's the worst thing that could happen? Um, they like gank you while you're trying to like push this and Jin like fakes a back and he throws a W at you or something like that, right? It, it, it should, whatever you do should work like nine times out of 10 at least. Uh, it should always go the way you want it to go. Um, but yeah, for, for like the, for like the majority of this game, you should like focus on Staying alive, especially in team fights. Um, this is honestly, this is fine. I, I don't remember what happened here. But do you have any? Do you have any? You wanna go back and review anything? Um, not in, partic uh, in particular. Um, but one thing uh, is like on Varus. Uh, I'm not entirely sure uh, when to build which lethality item, for example. Like in in games like this, um, Edge of Knights. Is decent because of the active, but magic resist basically does nothing. Um, then what else is that? Uh, I think I I ended up buying um, what's it called uh, dust blade. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then afterwards, I'm kind of unsure. Do you, do you just usually go for um, for like a, a lifesteal item unless they have a lot of armor? So you Need to get um, more to remind Yeah, so Varus, for Varus, what I do is um, I build like the tier, right? Which is where you did. And then I build like Ghost Blade. You build like the standard lethality. But if they have um, like a tank you need to kill, you you basically drop whatever you're doing and build the Last Whisper. And you don't do. Um, uh, 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 so, like, say they, ha they had like a, a Poppy or something, right? Um, when she has two armor items, you want your last whisper. So, yeah. uh, all you do is just like buy the last whisper. You don't even have to finish the Lord Doms if she's not a problem. If she's a problem, you finish the Lord Doms, right? But um, if she's not a problem, you just like continue your lethality items. And I would say like 
making the decision between i assume you just go ghost blade first right um because uh, yeah, i usually just go ghost blade yeah that's 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 honestly what you should do every time but between like edge of night and uh dust blade honestly the dust blade both honestly both aren't like that great but edge of night is more useful because you can you can you can pop it like why you're like pressing Q and stuff. You can like, like dust play, the active doesn't do anything. The passive doesn't do anything. Um, like finding like one word every 90 seconds is not gonna do shit. And you're not gonna like be using that passive. So you, be, you pretty much always build Edge of Night for your second lethality item. I like, nev I've never done dust play first, but I mean dust play second before uh, Edge of Night for, for a build path at least. Okay. But yeah, is there a way uh, to, um, is there a way to show, is there a timestamp for deaths and stuff? Wait, is there do you do you have the alpha client? I have the old client. Oh, okay, okay. I was just wondering. They there's like the replay system and stuff now, right? Yeah. So I could skip to death. Man, I should have been putting down times, my bad. But yeah, usually usually I uh I use place to be or I use in Europe, but uh it's really annoying here because uh the PC is always reset every time you go here. Oh, so I, have to I see. It every time. I see. Yeah, I I personally use Peace, uh, Plays TV. That's a good resource. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I would say uh for for like your next ten games, every single game, next ten games, your main focus is never die. Even if you have to like give CS or like um like or let your teammates die, right? If your teammates like have a bad engage, let them die if it'll put you at risk. Like if you if you try and help them and you could die, you should just let them die instead. Um, yeah. I would say go for that extreme. Like always live no matter what happens. Um, and I think that you will definitely climb, right? If like this game, despite that you died seven times, you played you played like the mid game so well, they like didn't really have any options. Um, but uh, letting like like dying in the in the later stages in the early stages, that's that's where you give your enemy like openings to um, like. That's where you give your uh, like opponents advantages that you don't want to give up, right? So if you like never die, your main game's like pretty clean, like so clean that they'll just like kill themselves on you. Honestly, um, like that's what that's what you should that's what you should aim for. You let them like kill themselves every single like at every single rank. Your teammate, your opponent will always kill themselves. So as long as you don't kill yourself, you'll win, right? Think of it that way in solo queue at least. It sounds so stupid, but it's so true. People will always kill themselves at every rank. Like, they're just like, run into you, you're like, what are you doing? You just like, kill them. Um, yeah, play to live, always, 100%. You just run away here. Always run away. Um, if you're in any danger, just run away. So yeah, that's what I would say. Uh, I think your macro is good. Um, the wave management was great for the most part, besides that one back timing, but I think you know that now. Um, the majority of your like your next step i think is just like playing to live instead of uh trying to like do damage or like finish people off uh your job that's not your job your job is just stay alive as ad carry yeah i think i think that's still from illusion mentality because that was basically illusion one trick oh yeah yeah do i know the do i know the feeling i just like want to dash in and cringe. like oh god <laughs> yeah I, I know what you mean i know what you mean uh i used to play illusion a lot too but yeah 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 I think, yeah. uh, uh, sorry, what were we going to say? Uh, I, I just want to say it's like the current method for me is a bit disheartening because of that, because I'm more or less, I mean, I have like an about 50% win rate, but I'm more or less stuck in like low diamond high clap where I know everyone just plays like absolute monkeys. <laughs> Dude, I know, I know, I know the feeling. Dude, honestly, like, it, I just like can't even win. I win more on like, my master challenger account than I do on my diamond five one. Um, I know, I know, I know what you mean. It's like absolute shit show every game, but uh, as long it's good practice because it teaches you how to like not die to the like most random stuff, right? Like this Leona, like fucking, I don't know what she was doing. She was like, she was like missing alts and then like trying to go in even though she missed her ult. Dude, that was like so stupid. It teaches you to like let your teammates not bait you, right? It teaches you to not get baited by your teammates. Um, and I think that's like one of the things you should take away. No matter what happens, don't get baited by your teammates. Don't get baited by your enemies. Don't get baited by yourself. Just stay alive no matter what happens. So, yeah. Do you have any, uh, do you have any, do you have any questions, Max? Otherwise, this will be like, this, will, this is pretty much the end. All right. Uh, I think one thing.
thing that happens a lot to me is that I uh, sort of like rule level one badly. Uh, not that much on Barrow since he has 575 range, but if I'm playing someone with like 500 or five to 550 range, uh, it oftentimes uh, on the level one I get hit a few too many times and I feel like I lose. I basically lose the lane on level one. I see. Do you have any? Do you have any plays TV? I can go over those if you want. Ah, the issue is, I'm in a PC bang right now and I don't have it installed. Oh, so like, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, but local. So level one, you're saying um, that you if you're playing on someone with like a lower range, um, is this like are you talking about like when you have a losing matchup? Uh, basically against Zyra, Mazaha, or Kama. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see if I can pull up an example here. Uh, for my own plays TV. What is this, Janna? Especially with if I have a melee support and like perfect perfect example would be uh if i have to leash while they don't oh so they god like, okay th things like that it just feels like you're just completely screwed level one okay I, I just i just lose like 500 hp or something uh well not that much but 200 300 uh trying to do anything level one so um what i would say for that i know what you mean like okay so say you have the leash they didn't leash they start pushing right and then they're gonna get level two first no matter what at that point um, you you should lose the lane gracefully, and what I mean by gracefully is that you don't try and like contest minions or like try and trade or anything because um, if they play it correctly, which will they will most in most cases or like worst case scenario they will, um, you need to like uh, you'll like lose the lane if you try and contest and they have an advantage, right? If they're pushing or if their lane is just naturally better. Um, like yeah. say they have like a Kaelin Zyra and you're playing like uh, Ezio Janna or something. And level one, you can't do anything. That's fine. Let them push in and just last hit on their tower. The goal of that is to like survive, right? You don't need to match them in CS. You can, honestly, you can just miss all this CS and that's better than losing like 200 HP or 300 HP. Cause then if you lose that much HP, even if your jungler comes, you can't like, you can't win, right? Um, yeah. You can't win a gank if, if your jungler comes. Pretty much all, all you should do, let's see if this is a good example. I think I have a Tom Kench versus like Kaelin and oh, Blitz. Watching that oh, really? Yeah. This is probably uh, not a not a good case. example, but um, how is there how is there not a good example? Do I like lose? I, I do this all the time. Like I do not lose lane gracefully and I just instantly lose the lane. Um, I have an example from 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 here. Did you get coached by him? By Last Shadow? No. So, this is level 1, right? Even though we should have the, the, the winning lane, I just like lose this lane anyways. So, um, at this point right here, at this point, um, I just have to lose the lane gracefully, right? Because he's going to push my range minions no matter what I do. He's going to use rockets. He pushes this. I can't do anything. So, what I, what I should do is just like back off and last hit. This is all I can do, right? My job is just like... My number one job is to like make sure I don't lose lane, and then like secondary is like you know maybe gain an advantage advantage in lane. But here you just like you just you should just cut your losses, right? It's, I'm not I'm not fighting for any of these because I know he's gonna push faster than me, right? I think that's what you're like referring to, um, like, like just if you have to sit at tower, right? Like if yeah. I have to sit there. Here I don't lose lane. Oh, sorry. What were you saying? Uh, depending on who you lane against. So for example, I don't know. Ezreal, uh, Zyra, for instance. Um, mm -hmm. Being on a tower feels really awful as well in those instances. Um, okay, so... Or they have good ways to poke you. Right there, they're just gonna, like, use plants or, like, try and cue the shit out of you. So what I've... Uh, damn, I don't know where it is, but the only time I saw someone do it correctly was uh, on, a like, a, a replay. And um, I think it was, like... I think it was like Deft playing like Twitch or something. What he would do, he doesn't even like try and last hit the minions on their tower, right? Usually it's like two tower shots and like uh, an auto attack kills melee minions and like one one tower shot and an auto attack kills ranged, right? What he would do is like maybe get in range to like last hit it, but if they're gonna poke him, he doesn't last hit it, right? Uh, okay. What you should do is stay stay healthy, stay healthy. No matter like this is this is this is um like. 
it sounds backwards, but if you're gonna take damage for uh, last hitting, like if you're gonna get poked for last hitting, like don't last hit. Uh, your job is to stay stay healthy so that your jungler can help you. If you like, if you take damage, um, and you get like the CS, uh, more often than not, you're just gonna take too much damage and you're gonna have to back and you miss even more CS. Um, and on top of that, your team can't help you because if they gank and get counter ganked, you can't win the three v three. But if you stay healthy then uh, there's a possibility your teammates can help you, right? Um, and you can, like, it's, it's, it's easier to uh, 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 last hit when after they've used their poke, right? Ideally, you, like, pretend to last hit. They use their poke, you dodge it because you're not actually last hitting, and then you, like, get other last hits because you have health, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So in, that, in those cases, in, like, losing, losing matchups, you should just uh, stay healthy pretty much. Um, over CS, that's like the priority over over uh, last hitting, which sounds really backwards, but uh, that's what works. So, all right. Yeah. Yeah, you should you should lose you should lose lane gracefully if you have if you have to lose lane lose lane gracefully. This is me not losing lane gracefully. I should have sat at tower, mm -hmm. get hooked, absolutely buff fucked. Yeah, I lost lane already, right? Level two, lost lane. Um, yeah. So that's, that's like my average thing. Yeah. Yeah. Same. 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 So. Um, pretty much uh just like if you if you're not gonna win uh at least don't lose hard pretty much um yeah that's what i would say any other questions we can go over like any topics you might have or uh, seems like you pretty much know what you're doing it's just like maybe fixing some mistakes that have yeah. uh come up with bad habits you know playing in the yeah. cesspool of diamond five also one of the things uh, is my, my mechanics started to get a bit worse. I noticed uh, just like not being able to dodge fresh hooks or in this game getting hit by so many Zyra snares, stuff like that. Stuff okay, like okay, I got, I got, I have a good, I have a good example for this. Okay, so um, the best way to dodge a skill shot is to know it's coming, right? Would you say that's true? Uh, what usually happens is when I try to. Juke and then someone does the, like the uh, the Afro move. <laughs> if you saw that clip, like uh, everyone would be dodges that way. It's it it happens too much where I just I know it's coming. I try to dodge and then I run into it. That's like that's like uh, you all played yourself kind of. Yeah. Um, so when you feel... you you have to so the way to dodge skill shots is that. You pretend that you're your opponent, right? So say you were that Zyra that game. What is what is she gonna do and where is she like she's gonna if she's gonna throw out her snare, where exactly is she gonna throw it out? And then you have to play accordingly, right? Um yeah. I know like the afro okay, so like if at your rank they're always doing the afro skill shot thing, then you, you keep then you, you dodge the other way, you know what I mean? Or you stand still yeah. or whatever. So like here okay, this is a bad example actually. Where's um Hmm. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. This. What? Well, another thing you can do. This is like. This is like. This is like more advanced. More advanced. But I would not recommend. Uh, is this even here? I would not recommend doing this. But this is also in the same. Um, in the same reasoning. What is your opponent gonna do, right? <laughs> So he's gonna throw out this cocoon, 100%, right? So um, I don't need to auto attack him to kill him. It's three v one. He's gonna die. So my my job is just dodge this shit. So what I do is just I'm not even auto attacking. That that could help too, right? Don't even like if you if you if you need to dodge something like a snare, a thresh hook. Don't try and like force um, damage or abilities in that time frame. Just focus 100% everything on dodging, and that'll help you a lot, right? Um, because the instant he made an action, I knew it was cocoon. So I would just like commit to one direction, pretty much. Because um, if I was, if I he threw that cocoon when he got when I got into auto attack range, right? So if I auto attacked him here, right here, if I'd auto attacked him here, he w it would have hit me 100%, right? If I used, didn't use splash or whatever. So um, if you need to dodge something, only focus on dodging. Don't like try and like auto attack or use abilities. That's what I would say, right? Um, for for like a micro standpoint. When I dodge stuff, I just like, I I, I just want to run in one. I commit to one direction. I stand still long enough for them to think that you're gonna hit me, and I just like run without auto attacking. Yeah. Okay. 
Anything else? Uh, um, I don't think so. Uh, thanks a lot, bad boy. Dude, no problem, no problem. Thank Yo. you for uh, donating. <laughs> Love your content. Really? That is good to know. Yeah. That is good to know. Um, yeah. If, if only you'd stream uh, at more reasonable times for Korea. <laughs> oh, God. I need to stream more reasonable times for NA, dude. I need to fix my, <laughs> my sleep schedule. I'm probably going to stream right now, but that's probably a bad time for you, right? It's uh, 12.30. Yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty unfortunate. Hey man, if I go to Korea though, um, it'll be perfect times for you, right? I mean, if it's before April, I'm leaving then. Oh yeah, it'll it'll it'll, it'll be before April for sure. Uh, if I go, but yeah, um, let me know if uh, you have any comments, criticisms, things I did well for coaching at least, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on stream again soon. Okay. Sounds nice. good. Oh, by the way, um. Do you watch uh, G2's Sven stri uh, stream? I do not, sometimes? in fact. Uh, I haven't because seen him. I think, I think he's like one of the best like in terms of, in terms of mindset and like noticing things and thinking of your enemy's shoes, kind of. Interesting, interesting. I will it's, take a look. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, I'd recommend him. I'll take a look. And he's one of the few streamers I think I actually still learn something from. Nice, nice. I uh, have you seen Forgivens? Oh, um, just a bit, but not too much. And when I did look at him, he was playing in like that plat five uh, plat <laughs> okay. one or something. Yeah. Or slow, so I didn't think it was worth watching. If you want to, um, noticed, oh, sorry, what were you saying? Um, I noticed that he uh, that he never looks away from his champ though. Like, yeah, yo, that one, that's so weird. What I, what I do is like I uh, I click I use the F buttons a lot and like I move the mini map and whatever and oh, rarely I get caught out uh, because of it but not often but what forgiven does he just always looks at his champion even like he just says in the, oh on the mini map we're fighting there like oh we're winning just like based off the movements of the teams <laughs> yeah so yeah it is weird um that's really funny because uh. Uh, uh, a lot of people, so that's like really good if you like know how to look at your mini map, but a lot of people don't. So I would say, um, as long as your map awareness is fine, whatever method you use is good. So yeah, that's it is really funny though because I did notice that as well. It's just like always centered on his champion or something. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, uh, I would say that if you're really looking to go. Uh, what is it? If you really want to learn how to win and push an advantage in lane, Forgiven's the guy to watch. Like he played Vayne in like uh like a weak laner versus like Draven in a strong laner, and he like won from level one. It was pretty disgusting. Um, so if you ever want to like learn how to lane, I I watch him. So yeah. Do you know where you can find bots, by the way? Because, yeah. Because uh, like on Twitch, it's like is is there a YouTube channel that like uploads specific? AD carries or something? Um, I don't know anything about specific AD carries, but I do, uh, what is that, like Deft, Stream, uh, in YouTube, and uh, this stuff will come up, and I'll watch these, uh, and I'll do like Korean Challenger replays, and I'll, I'll watch those. I assume you know those on oh, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, but besides uh, the YouTube replays, uh, and like just going on to like Forgiven Stream or something and watching his past broadcast, that's all I, that's all I know of. Alright. Oh, okay. also, um, do you know yep. what is it? Fox drop, I think, has the AD carry, or is it? Uh, it was Phylo. Uh, oh, I, I think he says a lot of things. I just, but I think I'm blatantly false and I disagree with. Yeah, he says it's not not everything is like, um, I would like, say I the best. Much, but the stuff I saw was questionable. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 at least some of some of his stuff. So I don't, I don't watch his like, whatever normal shit. I watch like these uh, like laning videos, and they they help me a little bit, right? Um, they they help me stop losing lane from level one at least. So uh, I watch some of this. It, yeah, it's true. You should take it with a grain of salt, but it may or may not help you uh, if you're looking for other resources. All right. Yeah, that's that's another thing. I feel like there's almost no one that has. Uh, that has content directed at high elo or like diamond one master whatever um, ADCs. 
Yeah, I agree. Stuff, like sometimes for mid laners, maybe jungle as well, but there's almost no one, or no one that I know of that does it for AD. Yeah, this is true. I agree. <laughs> maybe I should make something. Oh God. Be be big. Do it. One day, one day. Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, if that is all, then uh, I'll probably stop the recording and upload to YouTube, and you can take a look. All right, thanks. Yep, no problem. I will see you on stream soon, hopefully. Okay, bye. Have a good night, Max. See ya.